Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today we're building a forge. I did have this cool idea to build one around a, uh, a, a Sertling spawn, because one of you awesome wanderers mentioned that, and it's got this idea in my head, and we're gonna do that, but possibly next. Um, I didn't find a, a Sertling spawn around here that I liked, and I know I said we were gonna move away from this swamp, a swamp. I wanted to get away from it because I didn't think that there were too many places left to build. I lied. We added one place out here. That's the two-story hut. I need to mark that one. But we're also going to go out here today. I found one more thing. I know. I know. We need to move on after this one. I'm tired of this swamp too. But I walked by this spot and it really spoke to me and I wanted to build the forge and I, I kind of stumbled upon it while I was looking for a good Sertling spawn to build around and do that. So maybe we'll get a forge around the Sertling spawn. And what I mean by forge, uh, just to clarify, I just want to get a whole bunch of smelters and kilns going, like maybe four to six, you know? We're, we're, we'll go we'll go medium sized right now since we're still kind of like, you know, halfway through our swamps builds. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Thanks again for coming out to hang out, guys. Always love having you here. Always a good day at the Digital Hermitage. Let's go ahead and I'll show you the spot I've got picked out. Oh yeah, we're gonna build around the boss summons. Now I don't recommend this on a on like a server or anything, because you know there will be that one that one person that comes in and tries to summon it, and that could be fun. I mean that could be a lot of fun, actually. I might try and summon some bosses against some of my builds later just to start messing with, like... You know how fun it is to, to, like, to like just take on a siege like that? That could be a lot of fun. I might end up doing that pretty soon. Yeah, we made up, like, like make some bases and send the bosses against them. That could be cool. Oh, that'd be fun. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I want to build around this thing. We're going to build a couple of forges. We're going to get some sm smelters and some kilns. And oh, it's going to be awesome. Anyway... I've got to start shaping the ground. There you go. We're just going to slap a workbench down right there. And I have already thrown down a bunch of workbenches around just to kind of lower enemy spawn rate. In fact, I kind of want to add one right here. Just everybody stay away while I'm working, all right? All right, we got to we got to flatten all this out. I'm shaping all of this down. We're shaping it down. All right, we may have to chop that back some more. I might I might flatten that out a little bit, but we might be far enough away. I'm going to start placing some flooring pieces. All right, we want to work this in right up against the center of that skull. And you can kind of see it. Like, you can kind of see a little line right there that I'm going to call center. You know? Can you guys see it? Let me zoom in. <laughs> we look really closely. Actually, let's lower the camera even more. Yeah, there's kind of like a little line right here, and I've kind of just put the edge of my block right up against it there. I like that idea. And we're just going to kind of build out, and I want to be able to build right down the side of the skull here, because I do think we're going to wrap it. We might wrap the whole thing. <laughs> I know I said it was going to be a medium size. Uh, it's going to be pretty big. Today's build is going to be pretty big. We're going to use a lot of stone. I may end up using a lot of metal, just because I, I, I want to make this look really heavy duty. Oh yeah, look at that. That's almost like perfect. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Well, I want to build out this way first because I want the forges to kind of face the, uh, I want the forges to face the, the face here. And I think that's going to look really cool. Here we go. We went over five. No, six. It's six. But up Six. And then we've gone up three. Don't worry about going back. We'll count that all up later. I was just making sure it, it went by the, the skull pretty good. We're working up here right now. I've gone three out. I want to do something. You know, I always want to do something with the flooring. Do something a little different. Just fun. So I'm going to try and outline the inside here with this. Yeah. Let's give ourselves something different. Probably one more. Probably, we'll see. Yeah, then we can just pop one of these in each there. There we go. Why do I like that? Why do I like that so much? <laughs> 
then we at least need one on the outline here. There we go. That seals it in pretty good. I like that. That looks awesome. No reason. It just looks good. Anyways. Actually, I feel like I've gone out too far. I'm going to pull it back one. I mean, we still need to put an outer layer, so there we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, that feels better. What is that then? Five by six by five? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six by five. All right. I don't know. I like that better. I like that better. More, uh, less, less square. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, now we're going to angle. Uh, we're going to go with the one, two. We're going to go with that angle right there. We're going to go out five. We're going to do the same thing over here. One, two. And five. There we go. There we go. Then we got to build it back into... There we go. Build it right back into itself. We're going to go ahead and do that all the way down. And we're getting a little bit of oversnap, but I don't mind it so much. Looks pretty good. I don't mind. If anything, it seals up really well. Like, that looks really good. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to do something re really weird, and I hope it works out. There we go. And then we're going to round this back end out. And we're going to seal that in too. And I wouldn't worry about this, you know, if you don't like the overlap or if it gets twitchy. I wouldn't worry about it because it's probably not going to be showing in the end. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. Might have to bring the dirt down just a little more. Okay, so the really tricky part is I want to build these up. I want to make these little rounded areas a little bit taller. So we're going to go around and I'm going to mix up the stone a little bit and just do the between the twos and the ones and just get like a really good kind of mixed wall going on here. Yeah. It's going to look good. Right. All right, we do want support in here. So I'm coming in and I do want to seal it up too. I want to make it look good. I want to seal it up all the way. So we're going to add a couple of these. And to me, this floor isn't as important, so I'm just going to seal it up with a couple more of uh, these little blocks. Um, really, I just need it there. To, I just need there to be support up here. So we just need a flat surface. There we go. Not a problem. Bam. Let me get rid of that one right there. There we go. Which actually makes me want to just build out with this. There we go. We're going to grab... Now I'm going to grab one of these roofing pieces. We're going to snap it in right there to right there. That make one solid slide. It does cut this flooring piece out right there. Do you guys see what I'm going for? Do you know what I'm doing? Right there. How's that look? There we go. Nice. All right. And up here, we're going to put our two... Uh, up up there goes our two... Uh, <laughs> our two... Uh, Oh my gosh, the, the kilns, the, the charcoal kilns. My gosh, I'm drawing a blank today on everything. <laughs> yeah, and then we get up here. Oh, if we can, there we go. You know, actually, I'm going to do this with the ladder out here because we are trying to get it kind of centered kind of over in its respective corner here. Bop, bop, ba -dop, bop. There we go. You know what would help? I don't think this would get in the way either. Yeah, that's pretty much center right there. Nah, it's not going to get in the way. Look at that. I'm going to put this one right there. We're going to put this one right there. Look at that. Oh, they are sticking out the back a little bit. All right, so we may add one more layer out here. That's fine. Um, I'll add one more layer because I do want it to look like they're sitting on something solid. So we may go back and add in a whole other layer out here, which will be sealed in with the one by ones. We'll just add those on after, I think, two. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. It rolls right down. Oh man, that's a clever little trick. That's a clever little trick. I was taught that by one of my wanderers who saw it from somebody. I'm definitely not the, you know, I definitely not. So, so lots of lots of people have done this before me, but it works so well. Look at it. It's, it's such a nice little thing. Coal pops out, rolls right down to where you need it to be. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. All right, and next we're gonna plop one of these down, right in front here. We're gonna bring it pretty close up. I want it. I don't want any part of it to stick through. So we're gonna yeah, drop it right about there, kind of centered as best we can get it. Do the same thing over here with this one. Bam. Now look at that. All right, let's make little catch baskets here. I'm gonna go ahead and double stack the outside pieces, but not the front one. Yeah, ah, oh, this is awesome. Oh yeah, we might have to bring this side out one more in order for this to really look good and to feel like usable so we can walk around, and, yeah, get our, our iron and our coal in. This side is probably fine. I think we're gonna probably extend that out just about that far. That's got it, probably. Oh man, all right, so I need to duplicate this whole process over here. Give me a little bit to do that. You guys don't need to see it again. You saw the walkthrough right there. Uh, well, I guess I could speed it up and do it really quick, but either way. There we go. Knocked it out real quick. <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch too. There we go. All right. Now that is some heavy duty schmelter and kiln business going on right there. That's awesome. We're gonna add a little bit of a forge work area right here in between them. So let's go ahead and build this out just a little more. There we go. Now we do need to go and add a wall all the way around it. So let's go ahead and try to snap this. Yeah, I was hoping that would snap lower. Makes my life a lot easier. There we go. Built right into that wall, too. Lovely. This is working out really well. Look at that. All right. We're going to make that into a nice little home, nice little crafting storage area. We got to build it up, though. It's got to go pretty tall. Let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit more. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, I want to double that because I do want there to be a little two-story house right here. It's, it's a little hut, so we're going to go ahead and... Actually, we're going to need the outer wall for this too, so let's go ahead and figure out how we want to do this. I think I do want it to come out one. Possibly. Yes, that way all the walls line up because they're all going around the outside. So we'll have this three by four, nice little tower, or not tower, but squat little house. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. All right, one, two, three, four, and then we put our ceiling, which is actually just, you know, some flooring. Let me get back up there, and we're putting our walls up, up here, and I didn't put as many windows around, and we're just interchanging all of the blocking here. Um, I'm kind of reiterating, because it looks like my recording software had a, had a little bit of a hiccup of its own there. <laughs> ah, stupid. It's silly. But anyway, yeah, so you can see it's not really, we don't really have a pattern going on. I'm just, uh, I'm just making sure all the stones kind of overlap. And yeah, we went up four and then we put our floor and we're gonna go up four again. I'm finishing that up right now and then we're gonna put our ceiling on. There we go. That looks great. Okay, now for our roof. For the roof, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the core wood and we're gonna snap it to the outside. 
of all of these corners. Just like this. Yeah, I like that. It's going to look good. Okay, I'm going to go in and do this now. I'm going to add just this little layer all across the top. Now, you don't have to do this part. I'm doing it because it, there's a little gap between uh, the log and the stone, and I just want to seal that up. Um, yeah, we're just going to take care of that like this real quick. And then we're actually going to duplicate that by doing this. Oh, I fell off. Actually, you know what? I want a, I want a bigger overhang. Let's go ahead and just go a full flooring out all the way around. I want it to snap to the top, though. There it is. All right, I'm going to do this all the way around. Nope, we're going to do all of the roofing first on the flooring, and then we're going to snap the core wood around the outside and the bottom. Um, go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to build some ladders to get back around here. Yeah, I'll go around and snap these to the bottom there. And that's going to end up looking really good. Oh, yeah, it's going to look solid. Absolutely solid. First, let's go around and do the roofing. Nicely sealed in. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get down. Get down, 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 down. Look at that. It looks solid. And with all those beams around, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really, really nice. Oh, yeah. All right, we need a staircase, though, because I want to be able to use the upstairs and the downstairs. Definitely want the staircase to come down over the doorway here. There we go. Just gotta move it, move a few things. There we go. Very nice. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. No, this is really nice. All right, there's our little staircase. Not too bad, not too bad. Get some more flooring there. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with that later. It'll look really cool, I promise. <laughs> ah, cool. All right. So, yeah, we got a little downstairs, a little upstairs. Very cool. Very, very cool. I kind of need there to be a little exit here. <laughs> oh, look at that, actually. That worked out, like, perfectly. I just want a little itty-bitty front porch here. Can I, can I get that? Look at that. And look at how nicely that worked out. <laughs> oh, there's a little gap between them. That is a little that is a little annoying. I guess that's the easy way out. Does that stick out a little too far? That might stick out a little too far for me. Yeah, that feels a little better. Doesn't stick out so far. Alright, I can work with that. I can work with that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I just need a little walk out here. I really do. I think that that just adds a lot to this upstairs for some reason. Just being able to come out here and see everything burning and churning. I like it. I like it a lot. Probably make this the little bedroom. Gonna put all the forge uh, stuff down in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be so nice. Guys, look at this place. All right, last but not least, we gotta finish up the outsides. We already added a yeah, we already added one more stone out on the other side. Oh, 
Oh man, that works out pretty good. Let's go ahead and just move that. Yeah, let me see if I can duplicate that on this other side. So we built it out. Brought it straight over. Hooked it in right there. But then this one we snapped to that right there. Oh, look at that. And then the stairs can come up right here. Guys, this is looking great. Nice. Okay, that doesn't need to be there then. Maybe just one of these. Beginning to see the problem. Only I'm not, because I free placed that piece. <laughs> that didn't work. Did not really work out the way I wanted to. Okay, I just free placed that one, because I really wanted to seal up that gap, but I didn't want it to stick through the stairs. So we kind of free placed that one. I'm going to duplicate that process over here, show you guys what I just did. Let's do it real quick. Stairs. Bada boom. This guy. Alright, I'm free placing it. I'm trying to match up this side out here, this line right here with the stairs, because I don't want it. Because if it snaps, see how it sticks through the stairs like that? I don't want that. I want this to line up just like that, but we want to pull it in enough so it's not sticking in the mouth. There we go. We got it. Awesome. Alright, now we just want. Yeah, we want a nice low wall all the way around. Very cool. And we do need to come and add another layer onto those. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at this place. Super heavy duty little forage area. All right. Just a little bit more work in here. So, we're, yeah, we've got this twisted. We don't want to put it in square because if we put it in square, it's going to come out into the mouth really hard. And I don't want that. I want to hide it. So, we're going to go like this. Oh, there we go. I've got a free placement going on right here. And that's really what I want to do. So, we're going to end up with a little bit of gap on either side, but I just don't want it to stick through into the stone mouth. I just don't want to run the. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm free placing this right into the corner as tight as I can get it. And we're going to end up with a little gap on either side, but it's going to barely be noticeable. And I'm not going to worry about it. Perfect. Look at that, guys. That looks awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, look at this. This place is pretty solid. We're going to do some outlining of things just to, you know, just to make things look a little cooler. Uh, definitely going to go around and add some of this around the doors for trimming and stuff and the decoration. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right, last but not least, we're going to come back out here and we're going to add an extra layer on to all of this in the back here. Just so we can make sure that we can cover up our... Ah. Yeah, we just want to be able to cover up the little protruding section of um, of the charcoal kiln there. I thought that looked odd. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to make it look like it's actually sitting in there. And obviously, we're going to have to go back in and add something else. Um, I think I'm going to be able to do it with these. We're going to free place these a little bit just like that. Bam. Where did that one? I don't even know where that one went. There we go. And that was free placed. You know, it's just going to squeeze her in there and seal it up. It's just a... It's more of a decoration phase sort of thing, I guess. Hiding all of those little flaws like that. Okay, so this one's not even free placing. That one's actually a snap, and I actually kind of like it. There we go. That definitely feels a lot sturdier. And then to really seal it up, we are going to go around. And I think just because we did uh, the two, uh, the one by twos all the way around, the two by one, I'm just going to do one by one all the way around the outside here just to give it kind of a, a top feel, you know, cap it off a little bit. piece right here to kind of cap it right into the side there there we go solid as a brick let me do kind of something similar right here no all right we're gonna need a ladder or something <laughs> i'm gonna have to get up there we 
do want to add a little bit of accent up here, so we're gonna do I think every other one here. Well, all right, guys, I guess that's gonna do it for the shell of this house. This place is looking awesome. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I really am. I think this place looks fantastic. I'm gonna move on to the decoration phase. We're gonna be using some core wood to kind of give this place a little bit of an accent, and decorate it up really cool and get it looking really fun. Uh, I've got some really fun ideas in mind. Um, let me get to decorating this place, turn it into something really fun. Uh, a little more themed, remember, this is going to be a little more of a forge theme rather than a, an actual, uh, like, home. Or, you know, it'll have a place to sleep. But anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Let me decorate this place. I'll bring you guys back in just a little while. I hope you enjoy it. Here come the flybys right at you. All right, those flybys were a lot of fun to shoot, let me tell you, and pretty simple too. Guys, this place came out really simple, really compact, really just kind of like easy. Um, I don't know, I feel like the last couple of builds were actually more complicated, and I felt like this one was going to be tricky, but you know, it actually turned out to be pretty simple. We should have went with something crazier, but I hope you guys like it. I like it. I promise we'll make the next one crazy. We'll go all out. I'll, I'll build too much. I'll <laughs> Anyway, let's do our nighttime walkthrough. This bridge, really fun. I've really enjoyed the bridges on this build. Uh, being able to get underneath them and everything too. Like they're really, they're really something. I don't know why I like it so much, but that's, ah oh man, that's just been fun. It looks good, doesn't it? Got our banners hanging. I love this entrance. This entrance is nice, especially with this thing right here. Had to extend it out here to this thing. I don't know why. I just wanted to include it in the build. We do have another one out there, but 
I wasn't gonna use that one. Nice storage shed. I really like the dragons on this one. The little dragon car faces. It's awesome. Always gotta have a little storage shed. Another little simple little bridge. This little side bridge leads right over to our Sirtlings, and they're just gonna keep on being annoying out there. <laughs> uh, our little. It's, it doesn't that feel like a little temple or a little shrine built to you know bone mass? I just think that's awesome. Uh, man, bone, bone mass. It's it's nice to have you here as a part of the build. Had fun going around and putting a ton of these. Kind of realized I didn't go, go back and put any grass down. I got so distracted. I put up so many of these abomination trophies all around the outside. And I think it looks pretty cool like that, actually. All the way around. I don't know. It gives it a cool, a pretty cool look. I staggered them pretty hard just to try and get some different, you know, heights going. All right, let me get this smithery forge burning because it looks it looks awesome when it's all going hang on one minute oh yeah now we're burning look at this place go just watch that stuff accumulate look at the coal come down to feed us we've got storage on the sides now so we can put it you know just put our iron away or copper or bronze or tin or whatever you're smelting <laughs> look at this man industrious and cozy i love this you do have to jump up here, you know, to feed them, uh, to feed these, but I mean, honestly, that's not, it's not that hard. It's fine. And bone mass. You can't actually cook at these. I don't know why I put them in there. I think I just kind of enjoy the idea of some, some little chemist hanging out trying to cook some weird meals or do something with the, with the bone mass. Oh yeah, guys, check this out. Okay, so no mods or nothing, but you can really, you can, you can jump up there and you can put fires inside the bone mass's eye sockets <laughs> which is really cool it gets really cool looking when we go upstairs but guys look at this i love this isn't this awesome that was a really good setup i like that a lot the inside is super compact and super cozy look at this bam everything you need everything you need maxed out forge we got some storage plenty of storage under the stairs look at this <laughs> Super duper compact though. I mean, this place is really cramped. I like that though. Look at this. I love the storage. So I just went crazy with the storage above us and it's got every, I mean, this thing is uh, fully level two. Definitely have the, where is the witch cutter? What are cutters out here? Chopping blocks out here. Yeah, look at the eyes glowing from here. I'm getting all distracted. There's too, too many cool parts of this house. I like this little porch coming out here and just watching everything burn. Oh, it's so nice. But, uh, yeah, no, the storage up here is ridiculous. You just jump on the bed. You can pretty much reach everything. Um, so you do have to stand on the bed to get it or stand on the on the railings. But <laughs> I really enjoy it because there's plenty of room up there. Um, there's all these different levels that we've made by making the roof the way that we did. And I think it looks really cool. The cauldron does work. There it is. And we can use the... I don't have any cookable items or anything on me, but... Uh, to make this work, I put down a grate. You can't really see it very well, but there is a metal grate in there, uh, one of the horizontal ones. Um, go ahead and just show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got one of these. I just literally put that over the floor, and bam, you can you can cook on that. You can put a fire on that. It works out. Oh, man, but yeah, no, this place came out great. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this place is awesome. Hey everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. It feels like that was a quick little build, I swear. I, I thought this was going to be more complicated. I thought the forge would be bigger, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to think even bigger for the next build. We'll, we'll try something really big. Uh, yeah, I don't, what are we going to do now? <laughs> yeah, definitely some kind of another one of these more industrious like furnace forge kind of areas with a lot of smelters and kilns definitely enjoy that theme out here in the in the swamp so probably gonna try that one more time and make it really big we'll, we'll try to get something like eight of each or something going <laughs> yeah something huge but building in front of bone mass was really cool i had a lot of fun trying to incorporate this into the build and i really really like the way it turned out i hope you guys do too man this turned out awesome Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out for the episode. I hope it inspires you. The swamps are a pretty difficult place to live in, but it can be done. It's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I Just lots of stone, you know, lots of stone and lots of defense. That's all you got to do. And uh, lots of fencing too, you know, just, well, defense. It's all defense. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I hope you're having a great day. 
Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next build-through episode. Thanks for hanging out.